Greetings, and welcome back to Bob of Palmatine's Kitchen. On today's episode, we're going to be doing a very special recipe from an up-and-coming deputy inspector, Mr. Cyril Khan. <laughs> Let's make Cyril's Cereal Breakfast Bars. This recipe couldn't be simpler. There are only five ingredients, just like my favorite Star Wars episode. First, you have Cyril's favorite cereal. You'll know you have the right one when there's only blue and purple asteroids. Next, you'll need a little bit of vanilla, some salt, butter, and 10 ounces of marshmallows. <laughs> they kind of look like tauntaun droppings, don't they? <laughs> Fresh from hot. <laughs> now, you're going to need to get your baking dish and make sure you spray it with a non-stick spray. <laughs> it's one of my favorite tricks. Remove the cap and give a generous spray, coating it with the non-stick spray. Good. <laughs> I wish there was a little less on the surface of Mustafa so Anakin wouldn't have stuck to the gravel so much. Now take your 10 ounces of mini marshmallow and your three tablespoons of unsalted butter. Three, just like my favorite Star Wars episode. <laughs> and place them together in a microwave safe bowl. Now, bring your marshmallows and butter over to the microwave and microwave on high for two minutes. That was two minutes, just like my favorite episode of Star Wars. A few moments later. That's it! Our marshmallows and butter mixture are done! Now, look at that! Jiggling around like Java! <laughs> now bring the mixture over and mix it together until it's nice and smooth. While mixing, you're also going to mix in one fourth teaspoon of salt and one half teaspoon of vanilla. Whip, whip, stir, stir, whip, stir, stir. <laughs> Once your mixture is nice and smooth, just like how I am with the ladies, you're going to add in your six cups of Cyril cereal. Six, just like my favorite Star Wars episode. <laughs> Make sure to continue mixing until all the cereal cereal pieces are coated with that lovely marshmallow butter mixture. Ah. I would not recommend cooking in large black robes. Oh, really gets your old Sith arms going, right? Oh, so much mixing. It's harder to mix this mixture than it was to turn Anakin to the dark side. <laughs> Once the mixture is completely coated, dump it in your pre-greased baking dish. Yes, everything is proceeding as I have foreseen it. <laughs> Place inside your baking dish. Place inside the fridge to cool until completely cooled. <laughs> Later. Now that we've given them enough time to cool, let's check on our cereal, cereal breakfast bars. Let's go back to the fridge and remove our baking dish. Look how beautiful they are. Let's get a spatula and cut ourselves one of these delicious breakfast bars. Look at that perfect slice! Perfect for anyone who worked at the Imperial Bureau of Standards. I'm sure we've made Cyril's mother proud. <laughs> now if he's a good boy and eats all of his breakfast, I bet he can grow up to be big and strong and even join the ISB one day. I like to enjoy my cereal cereal bar with a nice cup of blue milk. Mmm. Perfect. Just like my reign over the Empire. Thank you so much for joining us on today's episode of Pop of Palpatine's Kitchen. We will and all see you next time.
one fourth. Oh, is it one fourth for the? Uh, one fourth for the salt. For salt, yeah. While mixing. Are we still recording? Oh. Now, if he's a good boy and eats all of his breakfast, I'm sure he'll grow to be big and strong and can enjoy. Mm -hmm. That was a good one too. It was.